Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic here to bring you part 15 of my Metroid Prime Let's Play. In the last part, we managed to get this snazzy gravity suit. And in this episode, we are going to head on over... I thought there was a hole. Yes, there was a hole. Yes, we are going to head over in this direction. And, uh... A little bit of nice news from... Here. I've actually gotten a few requests. For let's... Uh, for future Let's Plays, so... So, yeah, that's good. Of course, I'm planning on finishing up this project first because you know move and all anyway here we are at the what is this room called frigate crash site and it says we should be able to get a missile here ah this one oh, first gotta take care of you I do not like you. Okay, that was not right. Um, hang on. Maybe if I go here and then jump around. There we go. Gotcha. I shall die, and I shall get health. Okay. Apparently there's nothing in that cave. Where am I supposed to go to go up? Okay, maybe there was something in that cave. Morph Ball Tunnel. Doi. Right. Let's just get whatever's in those, which is nothing. Okay. And here we enter an old area. And sort of a new area. As you see, we're right back in... in the frigate Orpheon that we... that we started the game in. Except now it's completely totaled. are the same defense turrets. Why are these so tanky? And why did I think blowing that up was a good idea? Alright, no, no power. Power conduit. Well, we know what that means. Thermal visor, wave beam, and I said activate. Let's just switch back to normal. And section B. And now we're we should be in section A, which means yes, new creature. I said new creature. 
This is a Talon Crab, a crustacean native of Talon 4. Hard shelled, swarm life form. Once harvested for food, exposure to Phazon has seen this practice diminish. Creatures are timid and harmless alone, but can be a problem when traveling in swarms. Of course, if you can attack from a distance, like this, they suddenly cease to be a problem. Alright. And further in. I hear... Ah, yes, this. This is very important to scan now because it's only going to appear in this area and might disappear later. This is an aqua pirate. Space pirates with exoskeletons modified for underwater use. Using modified thruster packs and gravity suit technology, the space pirates have armor suits for use in liquid environments. Thermal tracking is still very useful against these units, as the pirate engineers have yet to eliminate the thruster pack's high heat signature. Wow. And now he's dead. Oh. Actually saw some combat power conduits. Oh, there was another one of you? Better freeze you. Wrong thing. Better freeze you up then. And to Davy Jones' locker. Alright. Where was I? Ah, yes! Power conduits! Where are you? Looks like there's another one over this way. Kinda hard to see what's going on when I have thermal visor on like this, but it's... Somewhat necessary. There we go. Got the power up. And over in here, we have a save station, which I will not. Actually, I'm low on energy. Well, comparatively speaking. So I'm just going to fill up on energy, and then activate this door. Or, yeah, activate it that way. Ah, excellent. Now, what do I need for that? Concussive Blast? Bombs do the trick? Nope. Just use Missile then. And another energy tank! Yes! Energy tank, so very helpful. Now, we're going to have to look around here for some... for some power conduits. Like that one. So forgive the purple making everything hard to see. Ow. Okay, I stayed too long on that platform apparently. I said get up there. Yes. Here you go. Jump up here. Wait, did I scan one of you before? Ah, yeah. Last part. Right. And up here. Up 
Okay, just gonna let you come back up again, because I spent too much time looking around for things. There we go! That was just a normal one, except a normal scan, except it's dead. Odd. Can't wait. Activate that, and uh. Huh. Three nearby terminals. I thought there was. Three, but I only saw two. There's a one there. One all the way down there. What am I missing? No. Ow, ow. That wasn't it either. No, it's not all the way at the Boy. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. I should have remembered something like that. Which means now I got to crawl all the way back up the path. Which thankfully doesn't take too long when you actually aren't busy looking for power conduits. And let's move on. Hmm. Doesn't seem like those guys do anything. Um, let's see. Okay. Yes, you shall fire off in random directions. Yes, I already saw one of you before. And you shall fire off in random directions. Now, I'm willing to bet there's another turret somewhere. No, there is not. Okay. Hmm. Is this a room that has anything in it? Da -da 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 -da. This is biohazard containment. Yes, yes, this room does have something. But apparently not on... Oh, not you. I wanted to scan you. See, this may look like the normal drones, but it's in fact an aqua drone. And you need to scan it now. Anyway. Aqua drone. Security mecha adapted for use in underwater areas. The space pirates have adapted a number of sentry drones for use in liquid environments. These aqua drones utilize an arsenal and artificial intelligence suits similar to their cousins. The pirates have been unable to properly shield these drones from electrical attack, making them vulnerable to the wave beam. Oh, I was just about to use that. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Morons. Anyway... That's the one, and I am willing to bet that it's Cordite. Yep. Cordite, which means super missile, which gives me a missile in return. Alrighty then. Now I can continue on without any issues for a while, and it looks like I need activate more conduits again. Oh, 
some of them were up there. Derp. Okay, get up there! I said get! Okay. I guess the... Oh, now I get up there when I know... <laughs> Oh, well, I needed to anyway, because this thing was here. And the door is open! Great. Let's move on. Keep moving. And I hear... Aqua Pirates. Come on. Yes. <laughs> okay. This room. Five attack research. One. Nope. Sk still got a few places left to look. And more power conduits. Yay! Well, at least they aren't too hard to find in this room. Of course, now the question is how do I get to that door? Because I don't exactly remember how do I get to that door. Huh. Oh, pff, duh. Just going along here. That works perfectly. Should be nothing in this room either, but the one immediately after has something I need to pay attention for, and I forget what it is. Ah, yes! The Aqua Sack, it's a new creature. It'll burst when subjected to impact or trauma. Believed to be in the same family as the Sap Sack, this plant has similar features. It will burst when exposed to force. This protective response keeps most creatures from feeding on it. Now, let's see. Is that the only thing in this room? Yes! So I can just head down and enter the room after that, in which there should be something of importance. And this thing counts as the same room. Alright. Taking advantage of the... Okay. I think I know what I need to do. Spum here. Yeah. Basically that, except better. And we got another energy tank! Yes! Alright. So, now that we've got that out of the way, we can just head on out of here. And scan something. Not that. We've already scanned gel zaps before, so we're good there. Huh, seedling? Is that what's... Oh, we already scanned this. Right, I had scanned this before, but the guide says to do it now. Ah, well. Anyway. Uh, wait, which door am I supposed to be taking? 
white door just above water. Which means I am going up too high. But, you know what? I think this is a better plan because I want to activate that spinner for later. It'll create a shortcut. Unless he has me coming back this way. In which case, I'm just wasting time. Ah, intense radiation detected. This room may look similar to the one that had the missile under the bridge, but there is no missile under this bridge. So... You do not have to worry about that. Instead, we have to worry about entering phase on mines. Because that is an infamous section of this game! <laughs> In fact, I'm probably going to end the part right before entering Hazon Mines proper. But that's still going to give you a taste of what's coming. Alright. So, as soon as this door opens, here we go. Doesn't this place scream dangerous? The music, the color palette, the machinery... All of it. Now... Over there, we have... Not auto turrets, but mega turrets. The perimeter defense turret reinforced with energy shielding. Frustrated with inferior armor plating on standard defense turrets, the Space Pirates added energy shielding to a modified heavy cannon. The new shielding and increased beam strength makes the Mega Turret an efficient point defense weapon. And a much bigger problem for people like you and me. Now that I've got that, I'm going to... go into the save station, but first I'm going to have Anthony give us the the, the uh, end of video speech. Luigi! Whatever, just give the speech. I'm fine. <clears throat> if you like the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that I can become super popular! Ahem. Uh... Him too. Thank you. Also, be sure to let me know what you want to see in future Let's Plays, and if you don't have any idea, you can always check out my Games Grabber page. Other than that, let me know what you think of the game, and I will see you next time where we enter into the depths of the mines. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>